Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I am doing uh, a video about three pen brands I love and I'm gonna call it my top three pen brands. Now I'm not saying there aren't other amazing pen brands or individual pens from brands that are just remarkable. Uh, but this is one where I, uh, it's, a, it's a brand, it's a three brands I absolutely love. Um, and I'm gonna show three pens from each of those brands and sort of do a writing sample with the top one, the one that I think for me is what clinches it in this top brand for me. Now I wanna start with two honorable mention brands. And the first of those is Gravitas Pens. It's a relatively new pen brand on the market made by Ben Walsh there in Ireland. Um, and the pens aren't manufactured by Ben, but they are designed by Ben and manufactured on behalf of Ben. And they are awesome. This is the, uh, this is the Delrin model, which is modeled off the Century pen model. Just a really great pen. Range of pocket pens, the Skittle pens, great finishes. I'm always coming up with new finishes and all new sort of like design elements. Care is taken in every degree of this pen, in the manufacturing, in the design, in the construction, everything. And even the nibs are all like really checked out by Ben. Just really, really solid pens at uh, actually kind of really great prices as well. The next brand is one I absolutely cannot ignore and that is Lamy. Everything from the Safari, to the All Star, to Studios, to everything. But this one, the 2000, is one of those great, great pens, the classic pens on the market. It is clean, refined, elegant, simple, beautiful. Um, it's, it's quite different from almost every other pen that they produce, and I love it. It's one of my pens I have inked up quite a lot of the time as one of my sort of daily writers. Uh, it's, as I said, it, it's reliable, it's simple, it writes beautifully. It, for me, it writes quite wet, it's got a great medium nib on it. Lamy 2000, and Lamy is a brand in general. CP1, Logo, these are all wonderful pens in their own way. Um, I've done a lot of reviews, so check uh, them out if you're interested in those. But let's start with my first of these three pen brands today, and that is Twisby. Now, I have three pens here, the Eco, the VAC 700 and or R, and the Diamond 580. So, I also want to give a shout out to the Go. The Go is the, one of the pens I use a lot for ink reviews. They're easy to clean, they are reliable, they have the same nib as the uh, Eco here, and they're really affordable. So, Twisby Eco, Twisby Go, wonderful, wonderful pens. The Eco here I love. I love the fact that it's a piston filler. It's a great first option for piston fillers for people. Um, there ha Twisby is a brand that divides people, and there have been issues with the Twisby pens over the years in terms of cracking and things like that. Uh, and some people just don't like the nibs, and that's absolutely fine. I love them. I've never had a problem with them cracking. I do treat my pens fairly well. Um, and uh, if you do take care of them, they stand up. And the Eco is one of those pen models that does exactly that. Next is the VAC 700R, and this is their beautiful, beautiful VAC filler. Now, I have changed the nib on this, not because the nib that came on this was bad. I quite liked it. I just got this nib, which is a Bok titanium nib, and it fits in this, and I think it makes this an incredible pen. So this is a VAC filler. So you turn the knob on the back there, you pull back this rod, and then as you press that down, you can see it moving in there, it creates suction back here behind the piston, and then you get it past this point here where it pops, and ink is sucked up into the pen. Obviously, you've got to have the pen in the bottle of ink, um, but has a great capacity, um, and it's a nice, robust pen and a really good size, um, solid in the hand, and uh, yeah, especially now that I put this Bok titanium nib, it's kind of amazing, but just the model on its own is a really, really great vac filler. And then, as I said, the last one here is the Diamond 580. This isn't the AL or the ALR or any of the special ones. This is the plain up, simple, a uh, Diamond 580. I love this pen. I love the feeling in the hand. The balance is great. The size is great. The capacity is awesome. I write with this pen so much and for long periods of time because you know this is see at the moment it's inked up with um, Robert Oster Tranquility as you'll see in the right uh, the writing sample. I write lyrics out for the shows I'm learning like I'm an opera singer as you can see all the, sort of the music everywhere. Um, this is one of those pens that really. Uh, is great for that because it's comfortable and it's reliable. I never have starvation issues or anything like that. It just keeps going. Um, it does write on the wetter side, so you do have to pick your paper. Uh, but in terms of uh, everyday writing pen from Twisby, uh, this is a great one. Diamond 580. This is the regular 580, not the AL or the ALR or anything. Um, it's my preferred one of them, another medium nib, very, very wet. 
very, very wet medium. Love it. And of course, this is very ink resistant paper, so it takes a little while for the ink to dry on the surface of this. Um, and the ink I have in this is Robert Oster Tranquility, which uh, is probably one of my favorite inks. Um, and it's a, such a great color. It's a uh, awesome on the pages. It's a green that sort of dries, sort of more turquoisey, tealy green. So that was Twisby, a really wonderful, affordable pen brand, uh, making pens that fit into those sort of um, entry level categories in a lot of ways. Great piston filling, great vac, nice nibs, nice range of nibs available also. So let's now talk about the next brand, and that brand is. Diplomat. Now, Diplomat have some pens that start in the 20 sort of ish dollar price range, a little bit more, um, and go up to really pretty expensive uh, pens, particularly if you get the gold nib options on a lot of them. And a couple of these have gold nib options, and they kind of bump up the price by like 150 to 200, you know, dollars. Um, but we're going to start with this one, which is the Esteem, which I think is one of those quiet achievers of the fountain pen world. It's a very simple pen, steel nib, smaller pen, international standard cartridge converter, which is what I use in it. I generally use cartridges. This is one of those pens that I have used quite a lot as a travel pen uh, because I can take the cartridge out, put a new one in relatively easy, and it's reliable. It always writes. And it can kind of take most inks, like a lot of pens are a bit fussy. These ones aren't. The Diplomat pens in general are really not fussy. Uh, so the Esteem couple of interesting finishes going on on this pen at the moment that are available, um, so check it out. Next is a pen that probably is one of the ones that alerted a lot of people to this brand. Like, Diplomat has a long history, and uh, but the Aero model kind of re-put it on the map, if you will. Um, lots of different finishes available. This is the Sunset Orange finish. It is a great pen. It's a great size. It writes beautifully. The nibs are all beautifully tuned by Diplomat in-house, which is wonderful. Um, it's just a lovely pen, and... Uh, eye-catching and unique and really beautiful. But the pen we're focusing on today is the Excellence A2. Now this is one of my absolute favorite pens, an absolute go-to everyday writer. I have it here in the evergreen finish. Uh, I wish I had the black. I'm probably gonna get the black at some point. Um, this is a really great pen. It's great size in the hand. It's got a nice weight. It's a lacquered brass, so it's a fairly sort of substantial size pen. Writes beautifully, the nib is absolutely divine. There's not really a lot more I can say about this other than I just really love this pen. So we have the Diplomat. Excellence A2 here with a medium nib and the ink in this is uh, the Ackermann uh, produced, made probably by someone else. Um, S B R E Brown. Um, a great ink uh, to uh, a <clears throat> you know profile one of the great people in the fountain pen industry. Uh, S B R E Brown, fellow pen reviewer and YouTuber and all of that. You can see once again this writes very nice, uh, smooth and wet, and these diplomat nibs are just unbelievably well tuned out of the house they just write perfectly every time uh the nib on the aero exactly the same the excellence b i have the esteem even the little traveler model absolutely awesome diplomat make incredible pens and they have a great you know range of price designs all those kinds of things just if you're not familiar with the brand then really get out and look at them if you are familiar with the brand maybe say in the comments why you enjoy diplomat or why you don't the last brand we're looking at today is Pilot. Now, Pilot is probably my favorite pen brand. Hands down, like, I just think that the pens they make are beautiful, the nibs are amazing. I've had, I've had and I still have, so many Pilot pens, ranging from the Metropolitans, the Kakunos, through to, as you can see, the 823 here. Uh, and probably the 845 is probably my um, mini grail pen at the moment, one that I'm really, really keen to get my hands on. But these pens uh, represent three of what are my favorite pilot pens. We've got the Falcon, this Custom 74, and the Custom 823. Let's start with the Falcon. This is a really unique pen. It's different to every other pen in, the, in their lineup, really. Um, it has a really super unique nib. It's like a bird's beak nib, and it's quite soft. Not a flex nib, but quite soft, so you get a little bit of line variation, bounce on the page and all of that. 
It's just beautiful. Um, I've done a review of this, so check it out. In fact, I've reviewed a lot of these pens, so feel free to you know check them out. I'll drop a couple of them in the comments, but in the description. But yeah, really nice pen. Really beautiful. Really well made and uh, just unique. Next we get the Custom 74, and this is one of the more affordable gold nib pens on the market. It has a 14 karat gold nib, simple pen, lots of variate, lots of different kinds of nibs available and a few different colors of the pen. Um, I really like this pen, I like the balance of this pen, I like the feel of the nib on the page. It is, once again, a little bit bouncy, not soft, not a flex, just a little bit bouncy. Um, and it's really nice. It's just got a very lovely feel and it's a nice size. Like it's really, like I think the size of the Custom 74 is often taken for granted. It's, it's just a really well proportioned pen. And then we get to the Custom 823. Now for a lot of people, this is considered one of the perfect fountain pens and I have to agree. It's a grail pen for some people and I completely understand why. It's another one of those VAC fillers like the VAC 700 that we saw from Twisby. It's got an amazing nib on it. It's a number 15 size nib or their pilot custom, their pilot uh, nib size. Um, it's wonderful in the hand. It writes beautifully, super consistently, great in capacity. Um, it is on the pricier end, uh, but I think if it's, it's a pen you can invest in and if you do invest in it, it becomes one of those pens that you just turn to over and over and over again. I use this as a kind of like a everyday writer at home. I don't generally take this pen you know, to rehearsals and things like that. Things like the uh, the Diplomat Excellence A2 I take everywhere. It's a bit more, kind of, being metal, it kind of feels just a little bit more robust, but the writing experience of the Pilot Custom 823 is unmatched. I'll say that across the board, any pen I've used, Pelicans, Mont Blancs, any pen, the writing experience of the Custom 823 is unmatched. So let's have a look at this in action. And this is a broad nib. Let's give you a better look at that nib up and close there. It's a beautiful nib. Uh, and it writes like a dream. It's one of the most unique nibs in a lot of ways. The feeling on the page is, I don't have any other nibs quite like it. The ink in this today is diamine. Oxford blue. So you can see this writes incredibly wet. Um, and it's got a nice generous flow to it. Um, Obviously, being a vac filler, uh, once this is clamped down, it does dry out a tiny little bit more, as you write. Uh, but with this being primed like that, um, it's all, well, it's very wet. I've just got it in everywhere. Um, but yeah, very, very nice pen. Uh, and um, here on the Endless 80 gram regalia paper, it is awesome. So that was Twisby, Diplomat, and Pilot at the moment today as I'm filming my top three pen brands uh, as shown here by the uh, Twisby Diamond 580, the Diplomat Excellence A2 and the Pilot Custom A23. Three wonderful pens, different price points, different sort of nibs, all that kind of stuff. But just really great pens from brands that I think are doing really cool things. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. Please like and subscribe, hit the notifications button, all that stuff. If you want to get in touch, drop me an email or comment on this video or go to one of my other social media platforms. Um, if you've got a like, if there's a way you'd like to support this channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for a review, there are a number of th different ways we can go about that. So get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, whatever they are, and I'll talk to you soon.